receive a very cordial greeting. Today again Friday video, we are going to return to a topic that I wanted to return to some time ago, which are the wireless networks. I have been asked a lot about this topic, and I want to show you some alternatives of what we can do when we need to audit a wireless network. Again, I remind you that in no case we can do tests in a network that does not belong to us. In a network that we are not authorized to uh, do these tests. Today, we are going to work on a wireless router that I have here. An alpha router, which allows us to do the tests that we need to do today. So well then, I have a wireless network. Let's see. It's called Atakami underscore number one. The channel we are using is 5. Is working in both networks range B, G, and N. It is mixed and the maximum speed it's going to offer us of 150 megabits per second is doing SSID broadcast transmission. And in fact, I have connected this tablet here. I think you can see it. Let's see. There, you can see it. It is connected to the Atacame 1 network. There, you can see it, I hope. There it is. Very good. So, what are we going to do? We are going to use a tool that I want to show you for auditing wireless networks, which is called Fern Wi-Fi. The first thing we have to do is basically validate that we have our network card connected, our wireless network card connected. There it is. As you can see, it is not associated to anything, to any network, and it's in managed mode. Okay? Normally, there is a very common error when you are going to use the tool that I'm going to show you, and that is that the network card is not detected properly. I'm going to show you what can happen, so you know how to solve it. Then, well, we are going to run a sudo minus i to work as roots at this moment done. Then now we're going to use the tool Fern. Wi-Fi Cracker, that is the tool that we're going to use. Fern Wi-Fi Cracker comes by default in Kali, is a graphical tool. I thought it would be interesting to show another point of view of auditing wireless networks. We are told that there is a professional version available. I'm going to tell it. I don't want to go to the website. If you want to take a look at it, it would be very interesting. Very good. Look, here we can tell it to select the interface. If I select, for example, the WLAN 0 interface, it tells us that it cannot place it in monitor mode. And this is a very common problem, which you may face, and it's very easy to solve. Even if you refresh here, you can click it again. Even if you put the network card in monitor mode, if I, for example, tell it, let's open another, another terminal here. Let's open another terminal here. And I'm going to say sudo airmon ng, well, I already have the command ng start wlan0. I'm going to put the password now the card is in monitor mode, look. Then all of a sudden you say, well, I have it in monitor mode. Look, it's already in monitor mode. Before we had it in, we had it in managed mode, see? Now it is in monitor mode, even so the tool will not detect it. It will generate a problem. It will say that it cannot. Well, the resolution is extremely simple. The first thing we have to do is to disable our network card. So we're going to say IP link link set lan zero down we're going to disable it there you can see it better done but we are going to say sudo sudo ip link sent zero down and now what i'm going to do is to change the name we're going to say sudo ip link set zero name we're going to put wlan zero mon perfect so what am i doing basically putting the mon particle at the end to indicate that the network card is going to be in monitor mode okay so now and with this tool we could work look the recommendation here would be to close the fern if you have it open close it completely and if you want invoke it directly from the kali menu because in previous tests, I have had problems when I use the fern directly on the command line. So, what you should do is if you have the fern open, just for peace of mind, 
if you have it this way. Let me... Open it. If you have it open. Close it. Just close it with this X here. Let's say I'm closing it. And let's invoke it from the menu directly. Look, there are some things left open. I'm just going to say Control Z here. Ready. And we're going to go to the Kali menu. And we're going to look for the Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. It's going to ask us the password. Password for admin the root password basically and here it will load if we already fix the card problem we should be able to see it here look at it just select here ln0 mon here it tells me that i can access the configuration at any time by double clicking somewhere here look if it is you can configure it to track all channels you can make the configuration you want by double clicking anywhere here from the fern screen. Then, now I'm going to tell it that already. Since already, we detected the network card, I'm going to say scan access points. It takes a moment, initializing the network card is already active. And we're going to give it a moment to see if he manages to detect networks around us. Well look, it already detected them. I'll comment that I had to restart the machine, because in the previous time, it did not detect the network. Seems to be that every time you use the tool, leaves something loaded in RAM. I have not checked well in detail, really. Or, it leaves some file that is deleted when I reboot the machine. I have not looked at what it is. But well, as I said, I restarted the machine. I did the whole process, and look, and I detected 26 networks that have WPA, none with WIP. And well, there are still no entries in the database. So look, I can go here to the networks that detected. Perfect. There we have them. Obviously, I will have to put in a little blurry. Let's say a little blurry, the networks it detects. But well, look, here it found the network that interests us. Attack me. One, that is the network that I have that you will remember. I have in the wireless routing that it belongs to us. Then look, I am going to select that network, the one that we have there. And I'm going to tell it, Browse to select the dictionary with which we are going to attack the password. Then, I'm going to go look inside. For the root, we're going to go to user, user, share, word list. And look at the same Fern Wi-Fi. Has a common TXT file that contains passwords. If you want to take a look at that file, then you can do it directly with a cat. Truth directly you could do it like this cat user share word lists fern fern wi-fi common txt and there you have them look there are the passwords that it brings by default there they are very well then already selected that common txt file let's say open perfect Look here, it detects us the network. It detects the VSS and of the channel. The encryption supports WPS, etc. We are going to do an audit on a regular basis here. I'm connected. You can validate that I am connected to the wireless network. Then I'm going to, I'm going to tell it to start the test. Then look at there. What it's doing is that look, it disconnected me. It disconnected me from the network. It disconnected me. And it is going to wait for me to associate again, in fact. Turn off the network card. Then look there. It generated the authentication one, as you can see. There you can see it. You can see what it did. I am going to connect again to the network. My device is connecting. Look, it's connecting to see if I can see it. I think it has connected. Look there. It has connected again to the network. I am connected. Look, it acquired the handshake. There it completed the process. Look, here once it tells us that to copy the password or the acquired key, please right click on the key and say copy. And well, I can convert the ASCII to hexadecimal if I want to WEP, I'll tell it. Okay, perfect. Then look, here I capture the handshake. 
The tool itself took care of testing against the dictionary that we have. And well, look, it found it. Here it is. You know, that is the password we have because I showed it to you. Look, there it says this password is secure. And here in the wireless security, we have this password is secure. There you can see it. Again, the recommendation for you to strengthen your passwords is that in no case, these passwords should be in a dictionary. Make them as complicated as you can, as long as you can, because that is going to make it very difficult for an attacker, is what we are looking for. With this, with what I am showing you, basically I want to emphasize in that, if the password is weak, an attacker is going to be able to find it very quickly. Very well. I hope you found it interesting. You know, is better to restart the machine after using this tool to use it again, because is likely that will not detect properly the networks if you do not do this. All right. Nice to greet you. Stay healthy and never stop learning. See you.